cocktail talk, idle chatter, lipstick lips that flirt and flatter. Not a word I haven't heard before till I saw her coming through the door. She led her walking to her talking, a brilliant conversationalist. The more she moved, the more I was amazed How gracefully she could turn a phrase Every thought so well expressed Every line so picturesque With a walking, done a talking A brilliant conversationalist She had so many nice things to say, I have never seen it put quite that way. Nine months whispering an invitation, I hear providing all the punctuation. She had me hanging on her every word Let me know what she had in mind When I walked her home one step behind With a walking, doing a talking A brilliant conversation She let her walking, do her talking A brilliant conversation I keep talking, baby You know you're coming through loud and clear Keep talking, baby You know exactly what I mean Church steeple in Alabama. Church, uh, sharp. Well, them church steeples in Alabama are sharp. Jones and <laughs> you're, you're gonna parachute, man. Don't do it over a church in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, she already remember that. I haven't done it for a while. Mm There's too many people, woo, just the other day I thought I saw a church steal. Open said, Daddy, don't you worry about me. I'm gonna stay here in Kentucky till the day I die. I'm gonna drink that sour mash, I'm gonna race that mare. I, I got a woman with a fox red head. I all been moving west since the day you got married. Well, I'm getting off the wagon, Daddy. I'm too old to be carried. I'm gonna stay here in Kentucky where that bluegrass grows. I'm gonna play it all night down a new cut road. said, now what's it all coming to? Young people these days are just as stubborn as mules. Ooh, you can't make him go. He's too old for that. It's a damned old fiddle and that bowl of that. Now Coleman's mama said, let the boy stay. Cause he was raised up solid and he can find his own way. But as for me, honey, I'm with you. Woo, I always thought Kentucky was just passing through. Now Coleman's little sister, mm, she started in a crime. His daddy shook his head for the very last time. Coleman's mama said, somebody gotta do it. Hell, there wouldn't be no Kentucky unless she didn't stick to it, Coleman. Coleman Bonner stood on the porch of that cabin and they watched them all go to Texas in a covered wagon. And he pulled out his fiddle and he rosined up his bow and he played a little tune called a new cut and roll. Yellow, 
Yeah, I got orange. You got Brian <laughs> Orange. <laughs> It's like there's a whole lot of choice in the shop, so it's so <laughs> you to fruit take what you get. That was the banana, and this is the orange. Yeah. She's the queen of the red hot mama, hottest thing around. When she shows up, head and honky tonk. She can righteously get down, you know she get on down. Plumb down to the ground. She's a cat's meow when the dogs bow wow. The hottest thing in town. A friend of a friend of a friend of mine said he knew her well. Said she hung around heaven till she learned too much Then she headed straight for hell She went straight to hell Everything for sale She walks the walk and talks the talk The hottest thing in town She's the hottest thing in town by a country mile she can lick her lips and roll her hips and really make you smile. She got everybody's number. She's making all the round. She's a hell of a heavenly ball of fire. The hottest thing in town. wasted on me. <laughs> this is Eddie's guitar. My kid, he plays his... It's still got some good music. Yeah, well, I, I can flog it a little bit. Uh, you can't do that new cut road, man. That damn thing scared me to death and I wasn't even doing it. <laughs> I guarantee it's the best I've ever played. <laughs> Well, you guys want to hear the, uh, could I have a little more uh, vocal? Shade more, a little more bass. Thank you. Yeah, that's been good. Thanks. Uh, want to hear the uh, second saddest song I think I've ever written or the first? <laughs> that's third. Marie's third. Yeah, it's not even, oh, Kathleen's way out of the room. But, uh. We'll all be going around all night, but let me play this. It's a new song that I finally got, got worked out, and I think it's like uh, I always thought nothing was the saddest song that I could write, and uh, I think this tops it. Get out of 
Yeah, so I'm gonna start off with this because there's four of us, right? So I mean, no, you know, no danger of dipping into any stuff like that. There's some friends here that were with me when I was writing up, so I want them to hear the finish. All the ribbons of love will keep me true, same. Till I reach home on the morrow Never, never to wander again I'm weak and I'm weary of sorrow From London to Dublin to Australia to Perth I gazed at your skies and I tasted your Sung out my heart for all it was worth. Never again for a ramble. There's nowhere left in this world for to go. My arms and my legs, they're trembling. My thoughts bold. Clouded and blue as the sky Ain't even worth to remember And as I stumble and reel to my bed All that I've done and all that I've said Means nothing to me I'd soon as be dead And all of this world be forgotten No words of comfort, no words of advice Nothing to offer a stranger Self's going crazy the way that it does. I lie on my pillow and sleep if I must. It's too late to wish I'd been stronger. Too late to wish I'd been stronger. Thanks, everyone. We're having some fun now. <laughs> yeah. There's some themes that you jump on, and there's some that you jump off. I'm going to do this happy little song. That I'm so tickled is a is a new record by Vince Gill and it's got a funny video to go along with it and everything with his golf buddies. I'm so proud. Co wrote it with Vince. <laughs> Not yet. I owe him all the money that's coming. She was standing at the front door when I got home last night. Good book in her left hand and a rolling pin in her right. She said, hey, you come home for the last time with the whiskey on your breath. If you won't listen to my preaching, boy, I'm gonna have to meet you half the dead. Give me just one more last chance before you say we're through. I know I drive you crazy, baby. 
it's the best that I can do We're just some good old boys Making some noise, I ain't running around on you Give me just one more last chance Before you say we're through First she took my glasses Cause she knows that I can't see She said you ain't going nowhere, boy Till you spend a little time with me a honky tonk so there's a party going on down here Well, she might have took my car key But she forgot about my old John Deere Give me just one more last chance Before you say we're through I know I drive you crazy, baby It's the best that I can do We're just some good old boys Making some noise, I ain't running around on you Give me just one more last chance before you say we're through. Give me just one more last chance before you say we're through. Take me in. We got our second verse uh, story on that. You know, the, the Tammy Wynette book that talks about George running off and, and driving a driving lawnmower to the yeah. nightclub. Yeah. <laughs> Marshall Chapman always tells that story before she does one of her songs. I can't remember which one, but she, she says, Now that's some true dedication. Oh, I don't remember that. I, well, I I didn't write it. <laughs> oh, it's a great song. You feel like that doing that, right? Huh? You feel like doing that, Jerry knows it. That'd be in your people's key or A. <laughs> Maybe your people. <laughs> Like 
particular little hovel <laughs> is the landlord. He's one of those guys that come home from work every day, go out to the garage, and make his own bullet. thing about it, however, right outside the front window was the prettiest grapefruit tree you've ever seen in your whole life. And oh, the grapefruit's worse than it. Well, One morning, I woke to the sound of his landlord outside the front window with an axe, chopping down the grapefruit tree. So I went outside very carefully. I said, man, what are you doing? He said, oh, guys, you know, this damned old grapefruit tree. He said, the son of a bitch has been here 30 or 40 years, I guess. He said, it's gotten so big, and the roots have spread out so far. He said, it's starting crack my concrete patio. Pack up all your dishes. Make note of all good wishes. Say goodbye to the landlord for me. The son of a bitch is always bored me. I'm gonna live forever, I'm gonna cross that river, I'm gonna catch tomorrow now. You're gonna wanna hold me, just like I always told you, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Nobody here will ever find me, but I will always be around. Just like the songs I leave behind me, I'm gonna live forever now. You fathers and you mothers, be good to one another. Please try to raise your children right. No 
Don't let the darkness take them, don't make them feel forsaken, just lead them safely to the light. When this old world is blown asunder, and all the stars fall from the sky, remember someone really loves you, we'll live forever, you and I. I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna cross that river. I'm gonna catch tomorrow now. Thank you. Let's play uh, I can enjoy these. Uh, I will next time. Well, we can make it play now. I mean, there's no, this ain't etched in stone. Or anything. <laughs> no. I need a little rest. I need a little shut up. <laughs> On a rainy, windy morning, that's the day that I was born in that old chair, crop of one room country shack. They say my mammy left me, same day that she had me, said she hit the road and never wants to look back. And I just thought I'd mention my grandma's old age pension is the reason why I'm standing here today. I got all my country learning. Building and a churning, picking cotton, raising hail and bailing hay. I've been to Georgia on a fast train, honey. I wasn't born no yesterday. Got a good Christian raising and eighth grade education. Ain't no needin' y'all treating me this way. I'll go there. I'll ever find another woman put together like you are. I love your wiggling, your walking, and your big city talking. Your brand new shiny Plymouth rag top corn. It is hurry up and wait in this world of give and take. Seem like haste and makes for waste every time. I declare it to my soul when you hear those ages go, you better know I'm gonna get my share of mine. I've been to Georgia on a fast train, honey. I wasn't born no yesterday. Got a good Christian raising man, a great education. Ain't no needin' y'all treating me this way. I was thinking earlier, I was telling Jerry, one of the last times I saw you two guys together, and this is a long time ago, it was an accident. Billy Joe had Towns by the arm swinging around <laughs> in the bar at the accident. Every time Towns would come Towns by, he's a human fan. <laughs> Every time Towns would come around, get me a gun. Get me a gun. Get me a gun. <laughs> Can you live live down something? Sure, no, live it up. Well, uh, some people's key, I think, is D, and uh, some other people's, I think, is G. His is A, or E. E. You know, I've known Billy Joe and I've known each other for 20 years. And he started off real ugly, and he got handsome. <laughs> and I started off handsome, and <laughs> look at me. And I can't figure out how it happened. Got a couple of clues for you. (laughs) (laughs) 
Clean man, clean body. Take your pick. <laughs> One time, listen, y'all, this is a good uh, Nashville joke. Uh, I saw Roger Miller, who I probably in God knew. I never met him, but he's a good friend of Mickey Cabarrus. He's a good friend of all ours. And uh, I saw him on the uh, Hollywood Squares once. And uh, <laughs> Peter Marshall, the master of the Hollywood Squares, <laughs> Picked out the question and said on a nationwide, you know, morning time tube drill, said, uh, uh, Mickey, I mean, uh, Roger uh, Miller, a uh, star when he had the TV show, no, no, King of the Road, he says, uh, Roger, is it possible to hypnotize a sheep? <laughs> and Roger said, man, you don't have to. You just <laughs> stick their hind legs in your boots. <laughs> yeah. <And I'm> <laughs> I mean, it went to, I mean, blank. And it, switched, it switched back over to Peter Marshall, and he's just like, TV Frozen's terrible. <laughs> Not moving whatsoever. And nobody was moving. They switched back to the squares for a minute. And uh, George Goba was laughing so hard that he was like pounding his noggin on this table, you know. And uh, Paul Lind was the other one. He was laughing so hard that he almost fell out of his square. <laughs> You know, he's in the third row, right? And they break to a commercial. Here's the funny part. They break to a commercial and they come back, and it's for like 20 grand or whatever. And there's Thermal uh, from Ohio and Ethel from Kansas. Well, and they're playing for De Niro. And it's like XX Roger Miller. Right? <laughs> And somebody had told, I mean, somebody had informed everybody that don't call on Roger Miller. That is disallowed in this neck of the woods. So it'd be like, well, uh, it'd be like XX 20 grand. So, well, I'll take Rosemary. So, well, unusual move. Roger, like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me tell you, look at all my, let me tell you my other, it's connected, my one other uh, TV story is Mickey Newberry. I saw Mickey Newberry on the Johnny Carson show, and this was all about the same time. And uh, Mickey come out, boy, and he played the trilogy, you know, the three songs. I mean, real them. These people never heard anything like that. You know, Mickey slow string in his voice. There's like a little bit of stunned silence, tumultuous applause. And it comes back, and uh, Mickey's sitting there. Here's uh, Johnny sitting here, and Mickey sitting there. Starts with a nice little boy, sure, sure. You know, he says, uh, We're from Nashville, Tennessee, Music City. Call it Music City. Well, yes, sir, it's pretty much the home of country music. I moved there as a young man to this, that, and the other. And, he's, and Johnny Carson says, uh, he's doing Roger Miller's TV show. He says, uh, you know, Johnny goes through his notes. And he says, uh, you're a running buddy of uh, Roger Miller's. <laughs> Mickey, out of the blue, says, uh, yeah, man, it's hard taking all them pills and drinking all that whiskey. <laughs> I mean, Johnny Carson just like froze, right? And then you can see the shadow of the director's arms right behind Johnny Carson. Cut, cut. And so, and so they, this is ridiculous. They come back after a commercial, went to a commercial, and apparently whoever was supposed to come out wasn't quite ready or hadn't been, you know, they couldn't, maybe he or she was in the restroom or whatever. But they come back to Johnny Carson, and Mickey is sitting at the whole end of the couch. <laughs> and there's no other guest. Right? <laughs> He's, you know, Mickey's just sitting there. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Oh, 
What a clouds didn't look like cotton. They didn't even look like clouds. <laughs> I was underneath the weather. All my friends looked like a crowd. Well, the swimming hole was full of rum, and I tried to find out why. All I learned was this, my friend. You gotta swim before you fly. But I got two girls, one's in heaven and one's below. All oh, one I love with all of my heart, and one I do not know. Well, two lonesome dudes on an ugly horse passed by not long ago. Asked me where the action was, and I said that I did not know. As it disappeared into the brush, I heard the driver say, He's a little slow between the ears, he's always been that way. Well, I got two girls, one's in heaven and one's below. One I love with all of my heart And one I do not know Where Jolly Jane just lays around And listens with her mouth She's had about a dozen husbands But the last one just pulled out but Who's gonna bring her dinner through the weary years ahead All she give from me is sympathy Ain't got time to see she's fed I got children Once in heaven and once below One I love with all of my heart And one I do not know Moccasins are tread nice and leaving strange designs. Well, the Cajun say the last time that this happened, they weren't here. Man, Beaumont's full of penguins, and I'm a cleaner by you. Well, I got two girls, one's in heaven and one's below. All of my heart, the one I do not know. I got two girls, once in heaven, once below. One I love with all of my heart. After too many margaritas, he left that roadside bar and found a friendly. Senorita There in his Company car And down the highway There appeared From nowhere A flashing Neon sign 
motel, motel, motel. She unlocked the door and he just ignored that still small voice in his head. She broke the silence with broken English, dancing him to the bed. Amid the passion, the sign kept flashing on the paneled wall. so clear children singing daddy's here the table set for father's day then holding hands they bow their heads to pray Electric humming, blinking and buzzing, chase that dream from his mind. Suddenly sober, he rolled over to hide his eyes from the sun. But when he turned, he saw that word flashing on her skin motel 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 song I want to play y'all. I found this piece of gum here and I figured what the hell. <laughs> I do too. But we can just sit on it and try again. I can't even read it. It's so far away. <laughs> There's some glasses. <laughs> Couple of black glasses. Hang on, I'll empty one. <laughs> Yuck. Well, let me see if I can get a little closer. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't gonna work. You know, I've heard they started making music forehead. stands. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> God, now I've really made a mess of this. Oh, God. Damn it, Hank. <laughs> oh, now I've got it with my thumb bit. <laughs> All right, damn it. I can figure this out. This is not the first time I've done this. Okay. I have the technology. <laughs> <laughs>
She did not want to drive. She did not want to fly. She did not want to wait for the bus to come by. She did not want to hassle. She did not want to hurry. She did not want to know what it costs. Don't worry. Baby, to the limo to Memphis Seemed like the thing to do Baby took a limo to Memphis She did it cause she wanted to Whoa. She was not looking back but she was looking good She was not in the mood to be knocking on wood Hey, She knows what she wants She knows how to get it She knows what it takes Just to do it, don't regret it Baby took a limo to Memphis Seemed like the thing to do Baby took a limo to Memphis She did it cause she wanted to Shortest distance between two towns is riding in a limo with the window down. <laughs> Don't ask why she's going, man. She might let you know. Don't ask when she's coming back, cause she don't know. Now don't let her fool you, man. She's nobody's fool. She knows what's tacky and she knows what's cool. Baby took a limo to Memphis Seemed like the thing to do Baby took a limo to Memphis She did it cause she wanted to Baby took a limo to Memphis Seemed like the thing to do Baby took a limo to Memphis She did it cause she wanted to City, oh what a town! I can't wait to get my feet on your ground. I've been around a time or two, and I found ain't nothing like, nothing like the likes of you. You got your big tall buildings, they scrape the sky. Way up yonder where the eagles fly. Boy, you really made me open up my eyes. No, oh shit! I'm sorry. I, I, it's, it's the it's the playing part that gets me. The words I know. Are you sorry for uh, for getting the song or for swearing and all the things? I'm sorry about swearing. What about your? Sorry about both. Both the song and the swearing. <laughs> One time. I was a member. Of, I was a. <laughs> Go. I was a member of AA, and I was a member of AAA. Yeah. And I was a schizophrenic, so that made me a AA, 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 AA. I'll play those letters on the lottery forever, man. It's gone. <laughs> so I was thinking, God, if I win, how am I going to split the money? <laughs> Uh, 
I'll pass. From the top. Let's take that one from the top. <laughs> I'll try, man. Get that one. I don't want to have to do all of it over again. <laughs> Can I start where I left off? Let's do, yeah, yeah, we're going to do a different one. You do have me trick me. How'd you he trick me into talking to you, baby? I did two of them a little while ago, and should have a little leeway there. <laughs> I don't think anybody here is going <laughs> to. I'll just do something I know. You can have a pause up, so. have all the leeway you want as far as I'm I learned 20 years ago to give me plenty of leeway. <laughs> all right. I'm just an old chunk of coal, but I'm going to be a diamond someday. I'm going to grow and glow till I'm so blue, perfect. Gonna put a smile on everybody's face I'm gonna kneel and pray every day Lest I should become vain on the way I'm just an old uh, chunk of coal now Lord. But I'm gonna be a diamond someday Search and find a better way to walk. Now I'm gonna spit and polish my old rough edged cell till I get rid of every single flaw. Yeah, I'm gonna be the world's best friend. I'm gonna go around shaking everybody's hand. I'm just an old uh, chunk of coal now, Lord. I'm gonna be a diamond someday. Yeah, I'm going to be the cotton-picking rage of the age. I'm going to be a diamond someday. Thank you. Let's kind of work this one out. I had a good friend, <clears throat> still a good friend, but he happens to be dead. <laughs> you think that's funny? <laughs> <laughs> Time flies when you're dead. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. But this is about a friend of mine who is an artist, an artiste in the dining room. His name is Bo. And he shot himself over a girl. He had a wife and a, and a mistress. And he got so tangled up in it that he shot himself in the heart over her answering. <laughs> Oh, I'm not here. Sure, <laughs> 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 boy, really. <laughs> yeah, no. This song's called the B.W. Railroad Blues. I have a, you know, as you get older, you're, you know, I figure when you, I'm not, I'm really not here. <laughs> When you reach middle age, I figure it's when your dead friends equal your live friends. Anytime you want to, you're allowed. <laughs> 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 
I know. You can take, you know, <laughs> you can take that thought with you if you want. But anyway, this is called the B.W. Railroad Blues. Boy, I'll tell you what, man, he uh, took all the fun out of suicide for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw the ripples, man. <laughs> I'm still mad at him. <laughs> in a railroad track I'm gonna ride I ain't looking I tried to stop at a keen unpack gotta get used to the clickety clack the big old wheels and a smoking stack oh baby I'm bound to go got trouble trouble in my soul your honey heart and soul I swear you're the sweetest thing I know I loved you true and I told you so I told you to come time to go I'll be gone with you no wind that blows oh babe I wish I could stay it's bound to be this way There's lots of things I'd like to see From the mountains to the shining sea Up in the sky where the wind blows free To the cities down below But babe, I gotta go I got trouble, I got trouble in my soul Body in a railroad track. I'm gonna ride, I ain't looking back. A lullaby to the clickety clack, the big old wheels and a smoking stack. Babe, I gotta go. I got trouble, trouble in my soul. My soul. Thanks, sir. Thanks, everyone. Do that poncho and lift him, man. This ain't itched in stone. <laughs> itched. <laughs> gonna keep you free and clean now you wear your skin like iron your breath's as hard as kerosene you weren't your mama's only boy but her favorite one it seems she began to cry when you said goodbye sank into your dreams Poncho was a bandit boy, a 
His horse was fast as polished steel For his gun out sat his pants For all the honest world to feel Pancho met his match, you know On the desert stand in Mexico And nobody heard his dying words Oh, but that's the way it goes All the federales say They could have had him any day Only let him hang around Out of kindness, I suppose Well, after he can't sing the blues All night long like he used to The dusty poncho bit down south Ended up in left his mouth. The day they laid poor Pancho low, left his splipper Ohio, where he got the bread to go. Ain't nobody knows. And all the federales say they could have had him in here. Only let him slip away Out of kindness, I suppose Till a poncho fell Left his living in a cheap hotel The desert's quiet and Cleveland's cold So the story ends were told Poncho needs your prayers, it's true to Save a few for lefty too He just did what he had to do Oh, now he's growing old If you gray federales say They could have had him any day And only let him go so wrong Out of kindness, I suppose If you gray federales say They could have had him any day And only let him go so wrong Kindness, I suppose. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. That's pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, everybody. Just what I need 
I like this request better. <laughs> this is a song I wrote about a guy who's kind of like my grandfather. Actually, he's my grandmother's boyfriend, but he was. It was a wildcatter in West Texas, and that means you drill oil wells just for the hell of it. Doesn't really matter if you get anything, it's a sport to do it all. <laughs> <coughs> Take me with him. 
block of the Green Frog Cafe. There was old men with beer guts and dominoes. Oh, and they're lying about their lives while they play. When I was just a kid, they all called his sidekick like Desperado waiting for a train. Desperado waiting for a train. And a driller of oil wells And an old school man of the world He taught me how to drive his car When he's too drunk to Oh, and he'd wink and give me money for the girls Our lives is like some old western movie it's like Desperado waiting for a train Like Desperado waiting for a train One day I looked up and he's pushing 80 His brown tobacco stain all down his chin well, to me, he's one of the heroes of this country. So why is he all dressed up like them old men? He's drinking beer and playing moon and 42. Like a desperado waiting for a train. Like a desperado waiting Train. And then the day before he died, I went to see him. And I was grown, and he was almost gone. So we just closed our eyes and dreamed us up a kitchen. Sang another verse to that old song. Jack, the son of a bitch is coming. We're like Desperado, waiting for a train. Like Desperado, waiting for a train. Like Desperado, waiting. For a train like Desperado waiting for a train. Thank you. Road. I have come to where I'm standing with a heavy heart and my hat clutched in my hand. Such a foolish fool. God ain't known no greater sinner. I have come in search of Jesus. Hope and he will understand I had a woman once He was kind and she was a gentle Had a child by me Who grew up to be a man I had a steady job Till I started into drinking Then I started making music Traveling with the devil's band 
All the years flew by Like a mighty rush of eagles My dreams and plans were All scattered in the wind It's a lonesome life When you lose the ones you live for If I make my peace with Jesus Will they take me back again? If I give my soul Will he clean these clothes I'm wearing? If I give my soul Will he put new boots on my feet? If I bow my head And beg God for his forgiveness Will he breathe new breath inside me And give back my dignity If I give my soul Will he stop my hands from shaking If I give my soul Will my son love me again If I give my soul And she knows I really mean it If I give my soul to Jesus Will she take me back again Thank you Supposed to follow that. You follow that rap. No, too spiritual for me. Too much. 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 Too I'll give you some. Thank you. You've been hiding out somewhere in writing or what? At least been you've been scared. hiding out. That's all I care about. I've been hiding out. At least you're not hiding out at my house. Well, I ain't got up to that yet. Up? That's the nice thing anybody said to me in about three weeks. <laughs> You better answer that phone. You better let Jesus in your hey, one heart. Time, one time, out. Uh, remember when I was living out at that uh, share copper shack? Yeah. Lived right there. That, boy, I lived. Boy, I came that far from turning into a genuine hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating uh, raccoons during the winter and turtles during the summer. <laughs> And we got a crank phone caller, and it had a beautiful, uh, it was my, I remember my wives by the, how old Geraldine, my dog was. <laughs> <laughs> she was, would have, would, have, would have been my second wife. He was a looker. We my got a crank one. phone caller, and uh, he would call and wouldn't say anything. He was just kind of heavy breathed, you know. <laughs> and we live way out in the country where you're the, the only law. There isn't any sheriffs. Two hours away, <clears throat> and uh, you know, I had some watch roofers. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me know when the sun came up. <laughs> but anyway, I had this phone call, boy, and I know it's him. And I was chained. I had chained myself to a tree. <laughs> To, uh, this sounds kind of strange, but I got. Uh, <laughs> I got <laughs> well, I said I got to do something about this lifestyle I'm being sucked down into. You know what I mean? Like, boy, I mean, drinking and rambling and gambling and hold it.
So, no, I got it. But anyway, but anyway, I was like, boy, looking at that water. A lot of people, you know, they look at a glass and they figure, well, that's half empty. And a lot of people look at a glass and figure, well, that's half full. I look at a glass and I figure, is that vodka or water? <laughs> But uh, this, I'm making a, I don't mean to make a fool out of myself. I mean, I've done much better. But I, it came to one point where I decided the only reasonable thing to do is chain myself to this tree. <laughs> I put, well, I took a whole, I took a morning doing about, you know, I woke up and I had already planned, I had all planned. I put two uh, nails, you know, wide-headed nails in it to hang my pointy teeth on. And I got some uh, uh, AstroTurf and a sleeping bag, and I got a five-gallon <laughs> jug of water and a, a steel hatchet to where this tree is this big. And, I mean, I had two padlocks in uh, eight foot of ten. <laughs> it sounds really silly now that I'm... Right, and to show you how much my wife was sick of me, she stole one of the padlocks. <laughs> but anyway, I stayed there for three days and two nights, and the phone would ring. The only we had an outhouse, <laughs> we had electricity, you know, from wire, bare wires and stuff. And uh, we had an outhouse, and uh, the phone would ring, and the window was like right from here to that. The wall over there. And I'd hear the phone ring, and Cindy would answer, and she'd say, No, I'm sorry, he can't come through the phone. <laughs> <laughs> He's chained to a tree. <laughs> it worked, it worked for a while. It worked for, uh, till I hit that riverboat up in, uh, that's where the rabbit is. Rabbit hole is. Oh no, I'm much much worse place than that. What was? I moved downhill from that particular place. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy, that it place is worse. Than yeah, it don't get much worse than that, man. Wow. I woke up and realized I have to do something else. With man, I I have had turtles, fried, broiled, baked, barbecued, raw. I've had turtle every way you can eat a turtle. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I never, ever. It takes a pickup truck and a ten penny nail and an axe to skin a turtle. Well, I mean, they're the hardest thing to eat in the world. And, uh, me and this Indian friend of mine, we just said, uh, well, let's catch turtles for the rest of the summer just because I wanted to work on my fly fishing technique. At this swan, you know, this pond, this uh, cattle tank. It was like, God. This, I mean, boy, I, I got out of there just barely, barely in time. The secret to eating turtles is uh, you catch them. And then you put them in a 55 gallon oil drum full of, uh, oil drum full of, uh, fresh water for a week and a half and let the water go all through them because they're 90% mud. <laughs> right? And you let them go through and then, uh, you get them out and you nail their head to a tree, you hook a chain on their shell and you take, hook it to your pickup truck and take off. <laughs> They're the meanest, they're the meanest uh, critter in the world, I think, that I've ever seen. I have a friend down in Galveston who caught a seagull on, uh, he was surf fishing. And he had, you know, a shrimp, boy, he wrecks bell, and he cast it out there, and boop, the seagull got it. Flying all around. He says, man, it took him about ten minutes to reel the booger down to the beach. <laughs> he said, man, when he got it down, he was like... Wow, this thing was like coming at him, boy. He's like, hey, seagulls are big burgers. Well, we used to, uh, 
turtles can, snapping turtles can uh, digest uh, steel fishing hooks. <laughs> you leave them too long. We ended up with hooks, man, that look like coat hangers. And uh, cable. We just got into it, man. Couldn't stop. Just became <laughs> an obsession. <laughs> right? God, you drag one of these ugly units out of the swamp. <laughs> I mean, it'd like come up the bank at you. <sighs> Gonna get you. I have one uh, break an axe handle. <laughs> God. We've got to get rid of these turtles, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. Genuinely got terrible. I have my dog trained, Geraldine, to work. And this is a, but see, this is survival. It's not, I believe Indians say that anything you shoot and you don't eat, you have to carry on your back to heaven. I've known that forever. Yeah. But I had a dog trained to uh, go out in the wintertime and catch a raccoon and snap its uh, neck right there and not break the skin. So I'd get $20 for the skin down at Block Bowes. Only thing I've ever, I think, tasted worse than turtle is <laughs> <laughs> <Some> raccoon. <laughs> you gotta try raccoon flambe. <laughs> <laughs> I've been taken. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Let me play uh, the Dollar Bill Blues. I really love this song. I usually start off my uh, shows with this song just to, to uh, warm up my hands and all that. So, and plus, it's the only song I ever wrote that my mother hated. <laughs> She only told me once. You know how moms are. Uh, I hate that song. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the people's key, which is uh, B minor. <laughs> you know what a piano uh, plays? You know the note the piano plays when it falls down a uh, mine shaft up there in Kentucky? A flat minor. <laughs> 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 wow, this is the biggest last I ever got off that gobbler. <laughs> I believe I surely will. Go 
to town and drink my fill early in the morning. Thanks, everyone. everybody. Hush my mouth for the soul, so Marshall Chapman, and she's here, and, and I would be so happy if she would come and sing a song. Yeah. Yeah. Still here? I've got a request. Uh, can, will, will you play that song that's got it's all those? Uh, okay. It's that song that you have that's about Texas being everywhere. Something is like since this is a Texas, this is a Texas Riders Night, a Lone Star. Hey, listen, you know what they did this year? They put uh, AstroTurf in uh, Texas A&M in the stadium. Keep the uh, cheerleaders from grazing. <laughs> no, it was Death Valley and Clemson where they did that.
Well, this is a song that um, I wrote in 1980, and uh, it was a very turbulent year in my life. And um, I was living at the Americana Apartments, and um, I had this boyfriend that was driving me crazy, and uh, he was going to go to JJ Mar JJ's Market and uh, get a half gallon of milk. We had a milk. And so, man, the minute he left, I was so relieved. I wrote the song about 15 minutes. It just squirted out real quick. And, uh, and then he didn't come back for like two weeks. <laughs> and he didn't have the milk with him. He, had a, he walked in the door with a case of beer and two children by former wives that I, I didn't know anything about. It's just the way things were back then. I guess that you could call this a period piece, like if you remember 1980, maybe all around. I'm not home either. Huh? It's never too late to have a half gallon of milk. <laughs> There ain't a cowboy at the stockyard in Fort Worth, Texas. There ain't a cowboy at home on the range. We've all gone to Wall Street up in New York City, and I find that a little bit strange. You see, they got Dallas on TV, Willie Nelson in the movies, and the Lone Star's on Fifth Avenue. And there's cowboys and cowboys selling Miller Lite and taverns. Drinking Miller Lite and taverns, that's what they were doing. Selling Texas to me and to you. I don't have to go to Texas. Why should I go down to Texas? Mm -hmm. Cause Texas is everywhere. There's songs about babies growing up to be cowboys, and doping and singing the blues. Billy Joe Shaver ain't doing the singing Then somebody is lying to you You see they got Dallas on TV Willie Nelson in the movies And the Lone Star's on Fifth Avenue And all the cowboys in Texas While they play football on Sunday God help them should they ever lose, just ask Tom Landry. I don't have to go to Texas. I don't have to go down there. Should I go down to Texas? Texas is there. Joe and Townsend, Guy and Gary calls Texas is everywhere. Thanks. Good guy. All right, I'm going to do another one then. Just play my hand, stop shaking it on me. Let's see. All right, this is just a brand new song. I just want to see if I can do it. Make things hard. Goodbye forever 
That's what I say Every time I leave you like I'm leaving you today Like I left you last Tuesday Like I left you last night Like I, I'm gonna keep leaving you until I get it right Goodbye forever You think I'm putting you on, yeah Goodbye forever Gonna keep leaving you till I'm gone Goodbye forever Famous last words A broken record never sounded so absurd I hear you laughing Put me down One day I'm walking away And I'm never gonna turn it round Goodbye forever This could be my swan song Yeah Goodbye forever Gonna keep leaving you till I'm gone Leaving you is easy I just walk out that door I do it all the time God only knows what makes me come back for more And it's breaking my mind Practice makes perfect I'm getting close This time could be the time I make it to the coast Take a slow boat to China Then take it from there I don't care where I go As long as you're not there Goodbye forever It's time to step out on my Goodbye forever Gonna keep leaving you till I'm gone Goodbye forever Goodbye forever Goodbye forever Goodbye forever Thank you. I'm having Marshall a Chapman, y'all. Give it up. Marshall Chapman. Hey, we're going we're to take a little break. We'll be right back with you. Stay with us. We're coming right back. We're going to take a short intermission. We'll be back. I don't want to start this morning Like my engine just won't turn so I don't want to start this morning Like my engine just won't turn Fast class of women, then I cause my little car to run. So I don't start this morning. Hope ain't nothing wrong with a little machine. Hey, my starter won't start this morning Loud, I hope ain't nothing wrong with a little machine Yeah, and the doctor said your car's all right, boy It's been burning bad gasoline
heart. Mark Stewart on guitar. I can do this right here all night long. But if I did, you couldn't take it. Now I'm getting old, I don't think I could take it. Start on start this morning. Now my engine just won't turn and turn. Cause I don't start this morning. Now my engine just won't turn. Yeah, I've been running with a fast class of women. They done caused my little car to run. Lightning Hopkins.
big party on my birthday. Draft white trash first round here in a way. Got me two tours of duty in Vietnam. I come home, I had a brand new plane. I take a seat from Colombia and Mexico. Up a holler down Copperhead Road. Now the DA's got a chopper in the head. We go screaming like I'm back over there. Learned a thing or two from Charlie, don't you know? Better stay away from Copperhead Road. Yeah, Mark.